Oh, hey, what's up, Bus Invaders? Come on in. You got TJ and Craig Mabbitt of Escape uh, the Fate. And down. this is our Casa. This is our humble abode on this uh, this run right now. It's uh, yeah, it's our home on home on wheels. So it's either one of two things. It's either really, really dirty or really, really clean. Right, okay. I'm the maid of this bus. So TJ, this is make sure it's it clean, clean as much as you can. So I'll help out every now and then, but. This is where we store the most important uh, stuff on the road. The, the uh, cooler. The booze. The beers, the booze, and the monster energy drinks. That's where all that goes. You know, sometimes we, we just leave props up here that we like to use on the road sometimes. So I got this Hulk mask on this tour. Yep. Strictly, yep. strictly because our manager bought us these masks because we literally all we wanted to do was make a vine asking people if they got our new record. And uh, yeah, go check those videos out. We thought they were pretty funny. So yeah, this is your front lounge that you got going on. This is where the crew members charge their walkie talkies. Uh, I try to put up some fan stuff sometimes if nobody wants to take it down. Um, this is TJ saying what we need for the bus. Like I said, he likes to keep it very clean. organized. Man. And uh, for everybody else in the band that keeps it fucking dirty, quit being fucking scumbags. That's TJ's note to them. This is where our, our tour manager puts our daily sheet. So it looks like today we're leaving at 2 in the morning. Looks like I play at 8.50 tonight. This is the... Uh... It's where the boys make their, their health drinks before they go to the gym. It's also where me and TJ change our fish's water. Yes, fish on the tour bus, just to wait, we figured it out. This is the, uh, where, little we, bathroom. Get, where we get pretty and, and, and pee and... We become, we become whole, all new women. Yeah. Straighten the locks and we pee. There's a little, little, little sign there for you. Yeah. No TP, no number twos, you know, classic tour rules. And then right here we got a little pole going on. <laughs> Who's the bigger piece of shit? Our drummer, who apparently sucks dicks, or our tour manager? And it looks like, uh, you know, we, we don't have everybody's vote on our tour manager yet. This just went up. We got four, four votes on a no. And then obviously it's everyone on the bus saying that our drummer <laughs> is a piece of shit. Minus a friend, I guess we had last night on the bus, Bauti. She went ahead and voted no to be nice. But that doesn't count. The votes have to come from the people on the bus. How they judge you. Then you got the middle portion of the bus. It's a classic tour bus. Not different from most of them. Everybody's got their bunk space. Here's what a normal bunk looks like. Whose bunk is this? Is, uh, this is Mont is Monty in there? No, Monty's not in there. This is Monty's bunk. Looks uh, you know, as you can see. As you can see, it's a bunk. These are the these are the messy people of the bus. You can tell. Well, you can't really tell. Oh, dude, it's just a blanket and a sheet and a pillow, and you got this little flip down TV so you can watch movies in there. You know, and typical little lights. Bunk. They're little lights that don't work. Yeah, their lights don't work. We went ahead and unscrewed ours in our bunks and took them out of there because uh, me, TJ, and our boy Ben, who's doing some of the photography and videography on this tour, as you can see, we've utilized Velcro in our yeah. bunks. He wanted to add a little mood lighting, so you got yourself a nice little white white rope light in there and, and all his nice gear. He's even got a cell phone right up by his head, Velcro to the, to the <laughs> roof. You know, Buddy's supporting our band. That's our new album, Ungrateful. Just came out yesterday. Pick that up. Hold on, and you got me and Tej's bunks. We got some leopard print here. We got uh, my fish, Bill. We got uh, the lovely Miss Julia. Uh, let's see, we got the Escape the Fate vinyl. Got some fan action, DVD action. <laughs> uh, cell phone. And uh, let's see what else. You even got your, uh, you even got your beacon speaker right there, man. Yep. Jam some, out to uh, tunes. Some reading material. This is gonna hurt, Nikki Six. And. Uh, yeah, this is, this is my, this is my where home. I rest my head down low. So, you know, you got the blue upstairs and, you know, you go down hell, low. Dude. So I got the red strobe lights, not strobe lights, rope lights. I was thinking about getting a strobe. You got my fish, Ted, down here. So you got Bill and Ted. You got a little, uh, little LED candle. So you get that nice candle flicker back there. Got a picture of my daughter, little fan. Miss Julia escaped the fate final, obviously. And, um... Then I keep all of my smell good stuff underneath my pillow. If I get thirsty in the night, usually I've had a lot to drink. So sometimes I wake up with a really dry throat. Always make sure you got water in your bunk. Some uh, vocal spray right there for the stage. You know, you just gotta be prepared, you know? 
your monk's gotta look good. I even got some little glow in the dark stars up on the roof. Let's check out, uh, let's check out Robert's, dude. Robert's is, uh... Yeah, let's look at Robert's bunk. Oh, what do you got? What is this, dude? Oh, what, is, what are you guys doing? What is this? This is your drums in there, huh? Who's this the, is, uh, who put these in here? See, Robert tried to hop on the bandwagon. As you can see, he's trying to utilize the Velcro. Right. But, uh... I don't give a shit. I don't got this ghetto-ass cheetah print. <laughs> ghetto, dude? Now, see, here's the thing. Robert didn't really comprehend how the Velcro works. Now, as you can see, me and TJ have successfully had beta fish in our bunk space for over a week. This fool put Velcro all across the back of his laptop and he thought he could put his laptop on the roof <laughs> and, just, and, just lay there. and just lay there and type. This has a lot of weight to it. This is heavier than our data bowls. Yeah. And he thought it could hang by the screen. He fell asleep watching a movie on his laptop. Smacked him right in the face. This is the biggest issue that we biggest have Biggest issue on the bus. on the bus is shoes, backpacks, and dirty Literally, clothes. check this out. Back up, back up. Every morning I wake up, I come out of my beautiful bunk, do a stretch, and I just do a walkthrough to the front lounge. And literally, I'm just tripping over shoes the entire time. Even, Full even, time. even with this. Even with all these shoes on the shoe rack, you still got some shoes down here. Too many and then shoes. People, man. people leave their backpacks just hanging around, so there's nowhere to sit. Now, I got to give Robert credit on this one. He went and installed some hooks into the carpet here. So you just got everybody's backpacks hanging up on hooks. I'm Mexican. So I, I, can I can build. I can build. But he can build things, you know. So back here is where this is where mostly we lounge and you watch TV. You know, sometimes we watch TV up front, but play fight night. or the back lounge, yeah, this is where the Xbox is at. Obviously, I didn't own any of any of these games. There's like six games that I've already bought on this tour and beat already. So I spent a lot of time laying right there or right there playing some video games. And we, we uh, try to have our Tom Hanks marathons, but this is all we got for now. Um, so if you guys got some Tom Hanks movies, feel free to bring them to us. It's one of TJ's favorite actors. Is, uh, because he's, he's the, the Tom best Hanks. ever. He's the best. He's the best. He's the man. His name is Tom. The, the best man ever? Hanks. <laughs> Tom, Tom the man Hanks. Tom, Tom, Tom the man Hanks. Hanks. I would agree with that. So yeah, I don't, I know, what is this for? It's for the ladies. Clean up. I don't know what that's for. Yeah, what is this doing back here? Um, it's probably Peter was hanging out back here getting his, uh, getting his jerk on, maybe. <laughs> oh, okay. But, uh, yeah, this is our yeah, home. Yeah. Our buddy Ben hooked it up. So we got the surround sound working back here and stuff because, unfortunately, before he helped us out, the surround sound wasn't working. Oh, let me show you this. This is the first time I've been on a bus. you got to get up for a second, brother. It's the first time I've been on a bus that was like this. Before now, we had a little mini Texas run. We had two weeks off. I flew out to Europe for a promo trip. And uh, so before, this was a normal back lounge. There was a desk right here. And there's a mirror right there, so it was like kind of a little vanity thing. Everybody kept like their jewelry and like sunglasses and shit. We all kept it right there. Well, then, we come back, I'm like, what the, what the hell happened to the table? And what are these seatbelts doing up here? What is that for? Well. Bam! You can do this. You just connect it up top to the seat belt. Up a little bit, and then bam. Now man. you got some back lounge camping action. It looks That's like, like it's not that fence. sturdy though, but when you get on it, kind of is, right? Oh my god, if it breaks, we hop on it. I'm not getting on great it. Great footage. No, it's good, man. Yeah. See that? Me and TJ have slept back here a few times because obviously you got the bigger TV. Sometimes you want to wake up. And you know, just look out the window, you know, because we don't have windows in our bunks. That's the only thing that kind of. Yeah, sucks. but we literally have slept back here zero times since we hooked our bunks up. No, I, I slept back. Here. We slept back here once when we fell asleep yeah, to Bill and Ted, and he was yelling at us. The next day. Yeah, but that's before we had a fish. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. But I he heard said he came back for here. three hours. All I heard was "Whoa, dude!" And it's like, "Fuck, man!" I come back here, these fuckers are passed out. I'm like, "Shit, Bill dude. Ted, man." Yeah, but Bill Ted's where it's at. It is where it's at. All right, you can put that back down now so you can play your game. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, that's the bus for the most part, man. Nothing too crazy, nothing too exotic or glamorous, you know. Some buses have showers on them. Some buses are star coaches, you know, the big star slips in the back. There's an extra back bathroom back there. Some buses pull out. Nope, we got the simple one for this run, so. It ain't too Come shabby, Come back man. in a few months, man, and then see what we It got. ain't too shabby. I've, I've been having a good time on here, and uh, 
you know, luckily we got TJ keeping it clean because if TJ wasn't keeping it clean, it would be a very uncomfortable bus to be on. Yeah. And luckily everybody likes it cold because if you guys didn't like it as cold as I do, I'd be hating it's my gotta life on the bus. It's got to be freezing cold. What do we have to set 64? 66. 66 degrees in here right now. So, I mean, it could be a little colder, but whatever. I won't so that's what we got. So uh, get out of here, bus invaders. <laughs> yeah, see you later.